Hello everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I'll show you how to make classic traditional chicken chasseur, also known as hunter's chicken. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this beautiful video to the end. And as always, enjoy! First of all, let's make brown stock. Or in French, it's called fond brown. Take one onion, roughly dice it. Chicken chasseur is a classic French chicken recipe. The translation from French to English chasseur means hunter. One carrot, roughly cut it as well. Whenever you do any stock, you don't need to cut your vegetables perfectly. Just roughly cut them and add them into the stock. Because at the end of the cooking process, you will discard all the vegetables. Take two celery stalks, roughly cut them as well. Get 10 ounces of creamy mushrooms, remove the stems and use them for the stock. The rest I will use for the sauce. You can also use white champignons. Take one leek, cut off the green part and roughly chop it. But make sure to wash it well, because we know that the leek is very sandy. Transfer all the vegetables into the bowl. Back in the days, hunters would bring home game meat along with any mushrooms that they find on their way. And they cook this amazing dish with the ingredients that they collect. Even though the name Chasseur sounds fancy, this dish is very rustic and comforting. Add quarter of a bunch of parsley stems and put everything aside. For my chicken stock I'm using 3 pounds of chicken bones. Clean off the excess fat. Of course, subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my tasty and delicious videos. For my hunter's chicken recipe, I will use 4 chicken legs. Separate the leg from the thigh. And cut off the knuckle. The knuckle will go into the stock as well. Put everything aside. Take a pot, preheat it to medium high heat, add some vegetable oil and saute chicken bones. You want to get nice golden brown color. Approximately it will take you about 8 to 10 minutes, but make sure not to burn it. Sear it by batches so you don't overcrowd the pot. Transfer seared bones into the sheet pan. And into the same pot add the vegetables that I cut earlier. So the vegetables on a high heat until golden brown in color. Add two bay leaves, some fresh thyme, 
One tablespoon of juniper berries. I love to add juniper berries into the stalks. One tablespoon of tomato paste. Tomato paste will give beautiful color to this brown stock. Add peppercorns. Mix it. Transfer the chicken bones in with accumulated juices. This brown stock is like Rolls Royce. You won't be able to achieve same taste from the packaged stock. So I recommend to make it from scratch. Pour 6 cups of beef stock. If you have, ideally you can use veal stock. Bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for 50 minutes. Take chicken legs that I cut before, lay them down on a sheet pan and season it with salt and black pepper on both sides. Take one cup of flour, transfer it into the plate and dredge the chicken in. Sear it on a medium heat until golden brown in color on both sides. Make sure that the heat is not too high because you don't want to burn the chicken. My chicken is seared, the color is gorgeous and make sure not to wash the pot and make sure not to wash the pot because that's where the flavor is. Just put it aside for now. Transfer it into the sheet pan and put it into preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's prep other ingredients. Take creamy mushrooms and slice them. As I mentioned earlier, you can definitely use white champignons. Take one shallot and finely dice it. Take fresh tarragon, remove leaves from stems and chop it. Approximately you will need 1 tablespoon. Take a quarter of a bunch of parsley and chop it fine. My stock is ready, discard the vegetables and strain it. Bring the stock to a simmer and skim the fat.
Adjust the seasoning with salt and black pepper. And thicken it with the roux. I have it ready already. But if you don't, you can definitely make it by yourself. It's an equal part of butter and flour, cooked together until light golden color. For this recipe, you will need 2 tablespoons of butter and 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. The sauce is ready. Put it aside. Take the pot where you were searing the chicken. Add sliced creamy mushrooms in. Shallot. Saute it for a couple of minutes. Pour one fourth of a cup of brandy and flambe it. But for your own safety, you can just reduce it without flambe. You gotta watch out those eyebrows. Deglaze the pot with one fourth of a cup of white wine. And transfer the chicken in. Pour the sauce in, and I prefer to strain it. Cover it with the lid. and let the flavors introduce to each other for 20 minutes on a low heat. Once it's ready, add tarragon, Parsley, gently mix it, and your hunter's chicken is ready. And trust me, that all the time and effort that you will put into the dish, worth it. Your family and friends will definitely enjoy it.